Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life and I'm here today with the May Small Project. I've got a darling pillow sham pattern to share with you today and also several different options to kind of inspire you. I've got an easier way to actually make this a little bit more simple using the pattern and also just wanted to show too, uh, used fat quarters for the backing. So I hope that you'll enjoy today's video and get inspired to make some home decor pillow shams. Okay, so I'm really excited about our small project for the month of May because I love having quilted pillow shams to coordinate with the quilts in our home. And uh, these quilted pillow shams also work great for couch pillows, sofa pillows, bench pillows. So this month's pattern is a really, really fun one. And, but I'm also gonna give you some more ideas for pillow shams. So this is my quarter square triangle pillow sham. This actually originally was published in a Quilts and More magazine where I, we did a series of projects. There were three designers and they picked out the fabrics, the magazine staff is who I'm referring to by they. They sent us these uh, packs of fabrics and we had to design a project. And this was a fat quarter project and I was determined to make a pillow sham with fat quarters. And you kind of want to use everything that they give you. This was actually 10 fat quarters. And I was not only able to make the pillow front, but I was also able to make the pillow back by using strips of the fat quarters pieced together for my back. So I thought this was really fun. Uh, and, and so anyway, it's a great pattern because you can actually even do your backing without having any large pieces of yardage. And I didn't put a zipper in this one like I do. I just did the flip opening where you can insert the pillow in. But pattern for this, and again, this is one of those little $3.99 patterns that you'll be able to use. I wanted to show you some other options though. You could do the same thing if you don't want to make the half square triangles and just use squares. So, and this, the same thing, uh, I did a envelope style back, but I just used fabric on this one. But I switch out these patriotic ones in the summer and they're great on a sofa or on a bed that has a patriotic quilt. I, I made two of these. But yeah, really fun if you really wanna go and make all these quarter square triangles. But if you don't, just make squares, use the pattern to get the measurements for the squares and do it that way. I also, I also have a Christmas version. And I, I switch these pillows out and use the same pillows. So I actually, this has been up in the closet from when I used it at Christmas time and it's still a little bit too early, but I'll just take the pillow form out of this pillow and the other one that matches it and use them for these when I place them out this summer. So I hope you'll enjoy this month's uh, little small pattern. I have two other pillow shams to show you that don't use this pattern, but I thought this was a good place to kind of share them anyway. This first one is in my Hearth and Home quilt book. And it's just another great idea. It's a little bit smaller, you can see. I did go ahead and put the zipper pillow back in this one. And I quilted the back. And that's another option I wanted to give you. If you want your pillow shams to have even more body, you know, quilt the backing fabric that you're going to use. Uh, but this pattern, we'll put up a link. It's in my Hearth and Home quilt book. And I, I love getting this one out, actually. Right now I've got it used. And then finally, just another option. This is another pillow sham that I did a long time ago. This is actually a fig tree quilts pattern by Joanna Figueroa. I believe it's called Stems. I'll get the link and put it up in the uh, description 
to this pattern, but I made a full size quilt of this pattern for her several years ago and I had some extra blocks. And so I put them together in two rows and I put some fabric in between just to make it the size I wanted to in a small border and made a pillow sham. So uh, this is just a really fun pattern that you can do that with, but you really could do that with any other, I feel like vertical type block where it's a, a rectangular shape with the long ends down. It would be just really easy. So anyway, I hope that you'll enjoy this month's small project pattern and also get some inspiration for some other pillow shams that you can make this month. Okay, so that's it for the May small project. I hope that you will enjoy making some pillow shams with this pattern and also that maybe you got inspired with some other ideas for pillow shams that you can make. All the information is in the description below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please share it with a friend, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by.